Hello my soccer universe, yes, jersey review season has begun for me and we're gonna start in the Austrian Bundesliga since it's the first league that has started and where I have already the best feeling of how the jerseys not only look on the uh, pictures but also in game. How I'm gonna do this review, we're starting in Austria, we have 12 teams, I decided this time around not to make it in 4 videos but in 3 videos uh, with 4 teams each. And uh, we're gonna do it as usual. I take the pictures from footy headlines or from wherever I can match, sc uh, match screenshots and whatever. Um, then I take the 12 teams. I'll take last season's final standings, go one, two, three, three, two, one, and so on, as you see on the screen. And then all the teams with their respective numbers land in their respective. And for the third video, I'm back in an Austria jersey and we actually have an interesting uh, overall minor set, although we have one of the biggest teams, of course, in there as well. We're talking Austria Vienna, Austria Wien in German is the big team in there. We have Wolfsburg who have been lately doing well in Europe, however, uh, this season not so much. And then we have with Altach and the Ried two uh, smaller teams, especially with the latter one, being rather successful, but even Altar had, had their good uh, spells, but currently, despite having Miros Klos as their coach, uh, being the prime candidate for relegation, as they were seemingly last season. And we'll start in Vorarlberg with Altar with their new home jersey, seemingly fan-pleasing, white with the black uh, chest band, however, the big sponsor, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, is, is similar to what BWT is for Lask, is this for Altach. Overall, Jako, I think we have not seen Jako so far, uh, is the supplier here and is doing overall a decent uh, job. I think there's nothing wrong. Maybe the color could have used a little bit more black, maybe not. I don't know. I don't like that the overlapping. This is again copying Nike. This is what you do, Nike. I hate this type of color, but other than that, I think the jersey looks actually quite uh, nice and all right. I would even go so far as say that this is, yeah, probably even one of the better ones, despite all the sponsors. I'm actually willing to give this seven stars. Hi, maybe, but you know, let's keep it seven stars. However, the Avengers, they're reusing the same one from last season. And um, there are many things and I got, when I did the review, Many positive feedbacks on the jersey. Uh, I think they changed the neck, uh, the color a little bit, but other than that, the design is the exact same as last season. And I think uh, I gave it an eight star. I do have to revise this. I really like the overall design and how you know the brush stroke effect and you know the um, uh, slogans that are in there. It's really, really, really nice. Even with the uh, sponsors, it fits kind of, and it's uh, maybe enough contrast. However, um, the Alta have the Alta fans have the same problem as the Lask fans that this is Cash Point, a betting company, taking over and putting their yellow on the jersey. Yes, they're bankrolling the team. Uh, probably not no, as much as Lusk uh, is doing currently, but it's basically sponsors colors. What the Alta fans would like to see is what Lusk has, a black jersey, or maybe, you know, some other color that is not sponsor related. I still find it pleasing though. I still find there's something special there. Maybe uh, the sash and the chest band that's a tad going too much. I fully, fully subscribe to this, so you know we have to knock it down a little, a, a little bit. I will knock, knock it down below the home, home jersey uh, to a six star, but it might be that the best thing that we are seeing from Altach these seasons are actually the jerseys overall, despite however contentious they might be. But you know, you see, I'm not as hardcore here as I'm for the last jerseys. Let's go to the big boys here, and Austria Vienna released those jerseys. Um, at first, they actually look over quite nice. The purple with the gold, we saw this already with Austria Klagenfurt in the first video. I think it looks all nice. It looks all so clean here. If you look at the Jersey Warren League, there's a league logo on there that goes above the swoosh. Then there's a little bit the red for uh, another sponsor. It's not as clean as, as it may look, but it actually looks quite nice. Uh, my biggest 
upset with these jerseys that it's worn with purple pants that have white side stripes it's completely mismatched it looks odd either go gold all all the way not white on the pants i also think that the swoosh probably should be gold just saying uh the collar is one of the weirder ones from nike uh but you know as an austria vienna jersey goes uh it's not as nice as the last one the last one i i really like this goes definitely more into the average. I want to give it six stars. Um, although I think the color combination is a nice one, but overall the execution is a little bit uh, lacking in my opinion. Now the away jersey, I do not get. Where is the red slash orange coming? Yeah, no, I mean, Austria Vienna fans have been using some orange, but uh, it doesn't make any sense. Use purple here and we are we are fine this way the sleeves are interesting give you that but the logo looks lost on that jersey it does it looks like it does not belong there at all for that reason uh yeah i think we have to go three territory here because um yeah despite the interesting sleeves i i really don't like the jersey overall going to lask's local rival reed uh we had in the last video hardback with sponsor overloads in part three reed is now the one with sponsor overload and this is hummel and this would actually be looking overall all right if the main sponsor wouldn't insist on the white background if that could be all just white on the green i think we could overlook some other sponsor things especially the sleeve sponsors but you know the green is a club color so that full faith it's in there however the uh labor case assemble this is basically a, <laughs> a meat piece within a bread roll on the uh you know on the left side uh, you see it on the right here it just always cracks me up and it's front and back it just <laughs> looks ridiculous it looks really ridiculous at the end it's a snack that i actually uh, quite enjoy myself although i'm trying to be as more meatless now uh the sponsor overload is what kills this and it detracts from the nice features there's a pinstripe in there there's also the upper austrian crest because you know upper austria has to not only lusk there is on the left side another logo of a uh, club logo uh, without the sponsor attachment and on the right side is a viking helmet which is one of the weirder things that the fan club they called themselves the vikings the vikinger and it became now a synonymous with the club itself so i find this always uh funny a bit because there are no vikings in upper austria so uh, just saying that but you know they have it and of course it's the um, uh, stereotypical viking helmet with, with the horns it was never worn by actual vikings just saying in any case, it's the sponsor overload that kills an otherwise actually not so bad looking jersey, I gotta say. Uh, is it as bad as Hartberg? Uh, no, surely not. I actually would even say it's a... This is not a hard thing, thing to say. No, it's right. Uh, is it better than Lusk? It's more with the club's colors. And for that reason, I'm actually going to give this three stars. The, oh, and that hurts. That hurts. Locally rivalry. The away jersey does the same thing in red. And I don't know why they don't have a white jersey. Because they need a white jersey. Red jerseys are underused at this moment in the Austrian Bundesliga. Because uh, Salzburg went back from red to white. And the the main team that was always red is uh, GRK or Graz. Graz Athletic Club. Uh, they are at the moment a sex thing. That would, would be the red team in Austria. Uh, there are no other teams in Austria that come to mind that really wear red. So having red is nice. Yeah, Admira. Last season was Admira. Uh, that's the other one that's red. But they're not traditionally red. Okay. Side bar <laughs> over. Um, I don't get it. It should be lighter. Uh, that's why I'm gonna give this two stars. Otherwise, it's the same jer uh, jersey, also with the lever case assembly in there. Which leaves us now, speaking of sponsor overload, with our last entry, with which Wolfsberg or WAC in German, Wolfsberger AC. And they are, meanwhile, infamous. If you go on footy headlines, and this is also where I took the pictures from, uh, if you go on footy headlines, they are 
always saying that Wolfsburg is the worst of the worst. I think when I uh, made the worst choice is uh, somewhere in the summer, uh, I think it was Wolfsburg and it was Hartberg, who were one and two or something like that. It's absolutely nuts. This is total sponsor overload and an otherwise simple jersey. The club crest, you see also the sponsor logo in there. That's as bad as it gets in Austria at times. So I really, really don't like like this. Um, what makes this better than Hartberg and but not better than Reed is the white base so that the sponsors are kind of, you know, they're not interfering too much when you watch it in game it looks white that's the only thing i can say horrible sponsor overload gotta go two stars here i'm sorry Wolfsburg. you do a little bit better for the away jersey because now you go black base and all the sponsors all the color is taken out which makes this jersey immediately better there's also an interesting pattern and by the way the company i didn't mention is san siro which is an austrian supplier um known for their full-on sublimated products so you can go you can say i want to have this design this sponsor da, da, da. you design it and you send it and they send it to you for a rather cheap price that's i guess where walls worth worth what is going for i gotta say yes sponsor overload but of all the overloaded sponsor jerseys this is the best one because it is just black and white and it's full in the black clubs colors i'm still not going higher then three with this one still sponsor overload so it's still in the awful category this concludes my austrian bonus uh, bonus league jersey review please let let me know which jersey you liked in here give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and yes i don't know yet yet which league is coming next but soon you'll have another jersey review coming up until then bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!